Hello, I'm Louise from Handy Little Me and I'm going to talk you through the menswear collection that has been inspired by the Outlander TV show and Men in Kilts. So to start with, I'm going to show you a sweater that was inspired by a sweater that Roger is seen wearing in Outlander season four. So this is a roll neck sweater, oversized, quite a heavy piece, um, raglan, so it's quite an easy one to make, um, just knit in simple stocking at stitch. Um, it's knit with Cascade 220 with two strands together. Um, and I chose that yarn because it was the closest color match I could find um, to look like Roger's sweater. So I have a, a picture to show you of Roger's sweater so you can see which one it is. So that's it there. And that's Roger talking to Brianna in season four. You might recognize that sweater. I also wanted to make Roger's mariner's hat. Um, so I chose a brown yarn uh, that I had left over in my stash actually. Uh, this is a Rowan Kid Classic and it's got a nice soft kind of fluffy texture. So hopefully you can sort of see some of that texture there. It can be worn slouchy or with the brim turned up. So you can have, you know, two styles. I also made it in the petite wool, um, you know, for a different look. And this is a quite a nice, soft, warm hat. So, you know, it could be made with any yarn really. So that's Roger's hat. Now I have a picture to show you of Roger's hat. So you can get the reference. So that's him wearing his mariner's hat um, in season four with the brim turned up and when he's going to board the ship to go and find Brianna. The next sweater that I want to show you is a sweater that was inspired by um, a sweater that Sam wore in Men in Kilts. So this is a creamy colour from uh, We Are Knitters, the Petite Wool. And it has two stitch patterns, stocking stitch on the bottom and a grid stitch on the top. And it's a roll neck. Again, easy to make. It's just a simple raglan, uh, oversized, baggy, comfortable, and yeah, all around, you know, wear it with anything and a sweater. I have a image to show you of the sweater. Um, this is Sam's sweater that the inspiration, you know, was taken from. Also in the collection is a tartan scarf that is unisex. And this is inspired by the Fraser tartan um, that we see in the Outlander series. So I tried to colour match it as best I could with the Cascade 220 yarns. Um, yeah, and it's just a simple garter stitch stripe with um, colours then woven through the fabric. And you may recognise it from the Fraser Tartan wrap that's already on the website. So this is just the simple scarf version. Which actually, now that I'm saying this, um, I also have a dog sweater that matches <laughs> that too. So everyone in the family can wear Fraser Tartan. We've got the wrap, we've got the scarf, and now we've got the dog sweater. So, you know, everybody can be Outlander themed. Okay, so next um, I wanted to show you this Aran sweater. So this one was a bit of a labour of love. Um, it was, you know, quite a, it felt like a lengthy piece to knit up. It's a simple pattern, but you know, even though it looks a bit complicated, um, it has moss stitch sides, simple four stitch cables, and the diamond running through the center. Um, and that's just a simple crew neck. This one was inspired by a sweater that Gray McTavish was seen wearing in Men in Kilts. Let me find the image to show you. Okay, so this one here um, that we can see there. And in his sweater, there's a honeycomb stitch cable and diamonds. So I didn't use the honeycomb stitch, I used a four stitch instead just to make it a bit more simple. Um, but it's a similar color and it was inspired 
by that. Okay. We also have a simple men's garter stitch raglan sweater. Now this one is a very simple easy knit. So if anybody is a new knitter that is looking to make their first sweater, their first garment, this one is for you. It's a really simple quick pattern. Um, I say it's men's but it could be unisex. It's the same as the women's pumpkin sweater. So you know anyone can wear this really. Very baggy, very comfortable, oversized, you can wear it with anything kind of thing. Uh, very warm obviously. And this is made with the petite wool from We Are Knitters as well. So this one's in top and this one is in cinnamon. So let's see. And they're very, very nice to wear. Um, I have one more sweater in the collection to show you. And this is a huge piece, um, very heavy. This is a staghorn cable sweater. So sticking with the Scottish theme, um, we have the staghorn cable, bit of a roll neck going on there. Um, and very baggy, very oversized again. This one is knit in the wool from We Are Knitters. So 100% Peruvian wool, very soft, very warm. So if you know you get a lot of snow where you live, this is for you. <laughs> um, and we have a few accessories as well. So very popular on the website are the Carolina gloves, which were inspired by some gloves arm warmers that Claire Fraser was wearing in Outlander season four. Um, so I made a men's version. So these are just really, you know, simple knit. You just knit flat and you just have a little seam going down there. No thumb. So you just leave a little space for the thumb. This yarn is from Scotland, actually. I got it when I visited Edinburgh last and it's from a Scottish mill up there. There's lots, it's a brown colour, but there's lots of different flecks of colour in there. You know, you can see a bit of turquoise, a bit of orange. So it's a, a really beautiful yarn to use. Um, I'll drop the info about where you can get that yarn, but it's, it's really nice, very warm. Uh, next, we have some brown fingerless gloves, which are, it's the same similar pattern actually, to the Brianna fingerless gloves that are already on the site. This is the men's version. And they look like, gloves that Dougal was seen wearing in Outlander season one. Now it might be a little bit difficult for you to see in this picture, let me find, but Dougal is wearing whoop, um, some brown rolled sort of arm warmers here. So these are the, the fingerless glove version. Um, also in the collection, we have some cable knit arm warmers, similar to those that Jamie was seen wearing in Outlander season four. So I don't know if you can kind of see those there, but he had some cable knit arm warmers. So these are my version of those arm warmers. And again, they're just, it's a simple cable like four stitch cable, uh, knit flat and then seamed, leaving a hole for the thumb. So you can see the, the cable on those. And that's it really. So I hope you've enjoyed looking through the menswear and that you feel inspired to make something. So thanks for watching and happy knitting. <laughs>